Check this out. Pretty tight fit. The max amount height is 12 feet 6 inches. I'm 11 6, so I got about a foot left. But it is time to give the RV and the Jeep a bath. After being on the long gravel road, everything just got dusty and dirty. So I don't know how this is going to go washing this thing. I don't know if I can wash it all. I don't know if this hose is going to work. Getting ready to find out. Okay, so I got the front, probably two thirds of the RV. Now I've got to pull it all forward because I can't reach the very back or the Jeep. So I'm gonna pull it all forward to get the Jeep and the back of the RV where it's actually the most dirtiest. And I'm gonna let Lane do that one. Did you see that? Did you see she sprayed me on purpose? Talk about it. What do you got to say? I'm going to say this, and you're going to like what I say. Whenever he tells me to wash the car, he needs to take his mouth and shut it, like I told the kids. Because I come to the car wash to wash cars, he comes to the car wash to save money. I come to the car wash to spray off the dirt. I don't care about the soap. Spray money. I mean, you know what I spray mean. Spray me. I'm spraying the money. And anyway, speaking of spraying, I sprayed them on accident, I promise. But I'm really delighted that it happened. Okay. Thank you so much for apologizing. You're welcome. <laughs> do you come right. to the car wash to wash cars or to save quarters? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. No, we're not. He said, we got to do more. I said, okay, good. I'll do the whole thing like I do when it's just me. He said, we ain't got time. We're full-time travelers. We have time. We have all the time we need. Boy, howdy. Don't take your husband to the car wash. Forgot the main camera, so I'm using my cell phone today. But check this out. Listen, they are wild, so don't get too close. And she's got her baby, you know, she may just charge. Just letting you know. Did you say something? <laughs> uh, she listens so well. So we are outside of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and we Googled what to do while you're here. And the number one thing was you have to take the Wild Horses Trail. I don't know if that's what that's called, but that's what I'm calling it right now. But there's a trail where you can, it goes for miles, it's a loop, and you can see wild horses. But here's what's really cool. The, they have a main road, and then they have tons of off-road trails. We are on an off-road trail right now, thanks to the Jeep. We didn't even go half a mile and seen our first wild horse with her foal, or colt, whatever they call them. But this is cool. This is why we do this. This is why we have a Jeep. Gabriel's sleeping. Grady didn't really care to get out, so we got out and enjoying this. So we turned around from that last spot. It looked a little too steep, something we haven't gone down yet as far as steepness, so just a little bit unsure. And so we decided to turn around. I see another spot, but we really want to get down in that canyon. So I see another spot that hopefully will get us down there. Let's see if this is it. So we're going down there. You guys good with this hill? Um, are you good with this yes. hill? Yes. Okay, then yes. You were also good with the last hill. <laughs> well, I think the last one was a little bit steeper and it also had like a bluff on the other side of it. The last one I literally couldn't even see yeah. under it. All right. It just kind of went and then turned, but on that turn it just kind of was a drop off. 
This one is pretty steep. You probably can't even tell from the camera, but right now I've got it in four low and in first gear and we are creeping down this thing. I'm not even touching the brake. And that is one reason why Jeeps are an amazing off-road vehicle is for that purpose alone. So Grady asked me, he said, so dad, all you're doing is steering? And yes, all I'm doing is steering. I'm not doing anything other than steering this thing down this mountain. I needed to get out of the Jeep because the road kind of disappears and I can't, I can't tell what it's doing. And it looks steep. It looks really steep. Oh my goodness. Um, I know you probably can't tell. Dad gum it. Let me see if I can find a different way. I just think that's too steep. I don't feel confident doing it. So now we gotta climb back up that hill. I know the cameras never do justice of how steep an incline is, but whenever you're driving, looks like you're driving into the clouds. That's a pretty good indicator. It's pretty steep. <laughs> Lame. When your wife says you promise we're not getting ready to tumble backwards right now, it's a pretty Mama. good indicator. <laughs> So even looking what? this way, you can't really tell how steep it is, but it's it's steep. It's stinky. It feels like you're on a roller coaster. You know, you're on a roller coaster. You're going straight yeah, up. Yeah, you're doing that climb. That's click, how click, it feels click, right click, now. click, 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 click. Yeah, yes. Now we're gonna try and find a different way down there. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna find a way how to get down there. I want to drive through that canyon. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Finally found a path to get down. Hallelujah. We made it, guys. So the kids are over it. Just which he predicted that. Yeah, you did. Which just like being in the big dooley, they reach their they reach their breaking points. They reach their limits and they're done. So we've been out here driving for a couple hours and now it's just basically once you get so far back, it's like okay, how do you get out? And that's what I've been trying to figure out is how to get out of this place because there are so many roads. So anyway, now we're down the valley, which takes us to the main highway. It's like a maze back in here. It's crazy. Happy birthday, dear Grady. Happy birthday to you. And many Woo! more. Party day, party on day. Channel four. Woo! Good Happy job. birthday. Okay, how does it feel to be eight? Good. Good? Is, what, what's different about it? No more nap times. <laughs> <laughs> So Grady, yeah. I think you're an amazing young man. I think you're growing up so fast and you're getting stronger and smarter and you're just like your daddy and how you want to know things, like you want to understand things and you want things explained to you. You get that from me because mommy doesn't know. <laughs> God does have big plans for you, but I think he also wants you to learn how to be brave and courageous. He wants you to learn to not have any fear, to not be afraid of anything, because he is bigger than anything that you could ever be afraid of. And he wants you to have an amazing life, and he wants you to live a full and happy life, and never ever live a life of fear. What do you think, Jason? Two, two. Two, two. two, two. <laughs>
How much popcorn have you ate, Jason? What kind of donuts did we get? Cowboy boy. Well, let's see them. Let's see them. What They're dad gum good. It's dance party. They're dang good donuts. Dang good. Is that what it says? I need some up, dang good. You ready to see? Okay, I know you guys want to play glaze, but mommy wanted sprinkles. <laughs> so I got half sprinkles for mommy. Yes, when we get there, okay? I know, the kids did not want sprinkles. I like the sprinkles. I nice. like the sprinkles too, Jason. Yeah, you like let's the eat those. And mom, guys, like all the sprinkles? No, I want one. No, I get all the sprinkles. I want a sprinkle one. Then you get the sprinkles. Okay, so you got a check in your hand. I got a check. Yay. Mom. All right, that's awesome. Sold the fifth wheel. Gabriel, Gabriel wants to say hello. Say hi, Papa. Hey, bro. Papa, baby. Papa. Go ride the four wheeler with you. Go check on the cow. Go ride the boom boom. Yeah. All right, well, Dad, thank you so much for doing all that today, taking your time out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Not a, not a problem at all. Okay. You thank you, Dad. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys. Yeah. We sold the fifth wheel. Yay! What fifth wheel? The one that we lived in first. The one with the bunk bed that's sold. Uh -huh. Oh, I know. So I just talked to my dad. The people from Texas came up today and looked at it. Everything went smoothly. And so the fish wheel, the fish wheel, the fifth wheel <laughs> is officially sold. The, the fish wheel. The fish wheel. The fish wheel is officially sold. The fish wheel is officially sold. <laughs> it's nice to be able to leave it back at home and trust a family to be able to take care of that for us because there's no way we could have sold it while we were on the road. We would have had to take it to a RV place, a consignment place, let them handle it all for us and charge us like 10%. But since we can leave it with family, it just made it a whole lot smoother. Huh? We just fell on the steak dinner. Yep, I told my dad I would uh, buy him a giant, nice steak. Grady, time to measure you. So here's how we gotta do it. This is how this is gonna go down. It's too tall to stand up in here. And because our previous life, I cut off a couple of inches. So we have to basically imagine that this is the bottom of the floor. So your feet are gonna be, the bottom of your feet are gonna be here. And you're gonna be laying down on the board. You want me to turn the light on? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. turn on. Okay, are you got the board? Just go ahead and so sit on it, Grady. Ready? Yeah, he's on it. Okay, Chase, watch out. Okay, go ahead and lay on down. Whenever you live in a camper, this is how you measure yourself because the board is too tall. Hey, okay, birthday so I, boy. I do Hi. think, I do think that's pretty accurate. Did you scoot? Are you scooting? No. Let me check his feet. Okay, his feet are good. I feel like he's right on the black line. Okay, set up. Woo, he grew probably. A lot. So Grady has grown a total of about two inches. Well, the last time we wrote was on your sixth birthday. <gasps> or I mean seventh birthday. Oh, look. Yep, Grady, you've grown about two inches. Two inches in a year. Growing up. <laughs>